Yo, what's going on? What's good? This is Mr. Peace here, Kevin Zawala, and I'm standing outside of the house of Colleen Mills, who is the Citizens for Peace president here in Livonia, Michigan. And I'm standing right next to her peace pole. She's got her peace flag, everything peace here on her property. And the reason I chose this location, this particular spot for this video, is because I'm a firm believer that peace has to start in our homes, has to start in our hearts, has to start with the individual. That if we want peace in our cities, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, um, on our streets, you know, worldwide even, that we have to have peace first start here. And the main reason that I'm here though today is to tell you about the event that um, rules my life in a good way, in a good sense, and that's Peace Day. Um, it's hard to believe, but it's been seven years since our first Peace Day event, and I want to tell you about what's happening for our seventh annual Promoting Ethnic and Cultural Equality Day. That's the acronym for peace. Our seventh annual Peace Day that's going to be happening on Sunday, September 23rd, from noon to four on the Central Campus Diag, the heart of Ann Arbor, at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. And this event, uh, you know, the, the main vision behind this celebration of diversity is to connect people from all walks of life and in a non-threatening environment, a non-threatening way, it's not preaching down anybody's throat, but it's just offering everyone's experiences, all the artists that are going to be there, all the organizations, all their experiences that they've had with diversity. And it's one thing to say that you have it but it's another thing to try to bring it together and connect it. And so all these events, especially Peace Day, it's, it's, a, it's a way to promote more community through the arts. And what started seven years ago on campus when I was still a senior at U of M, what started as a very small event um, indoors, maybe had 200 people in attendance max, the Dean of Students at the time, Dean of Students Sue Eklund, gave a talk and she just said that, you know, don't give up here because, you know, don't worry about all the numbers and the fact that there weren't that many that year um, because they will come if you stay dedicated enough and focused enough and driven, disciplined everything enough to keep pushing for this very worthy and important cause necessary cause and so that's what we did that we didn't give up and we kept pushing even some years that I had some physical challenges and some of my friends uh, you know had their own financial battles and everything else going on we still pushed to have peace day continue because for so many they told me hey Kevin mr. peace this 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 one day out of the year this one day gives me hope and that's kind of my inspiration to keep going for this. And so this 7th Annual Peace Day, right, Sunday, September 23rd, it's going to be so amazing. We have uh, Peace Iced Tea and Domino's Pizza, our two main sponsors again. They're going to have free iced tea out there. we got free pizza for you, so come on out for some great food and drink. Uh, we're going to have chalk for peace there. We're going to be chalking the whole diag again, all the brick. we got Japanese calligraphy, face painting for the kids. We have peace puppets. Uh, we're going to have a little peace parade after after Peace Day. And there's so many things for any member of the family, age 5 to 95. So bring whoever you want. We encourage that. In terms of the enter entertainment for the day, we have some amazing talents, um, just incredible, gifted talents. We have some spoken word poets. We have live bands. We have break dancers. Element One is going to be there. We have some hip-hop artists, uh, Neek Love Rhodes. Mike Mission Smith from Detroit. We have Dirt Road Pride coming from all over Livingston County. Um, some of the bands again, we have the uh, Dirty DeVille, Mind Shed, um, just some amazing artists. The Square Boys are going to be there helping us out all day with the sound. New Day Sun, Darren Brile, uh, Joe Kidd, just Lonzo. All, all, I, I can't even mention all the people that are just have touched my heart and that have been a part of this Peace Day celebration, uh, not only in Ann Arbor, but all, all over the state. And, and, we've, and we've taken this model to other universities and we, and we want to keep replicating it and keep bringing more and more 
communities together through music, through the arts. We have some other organizations coming out for the day, uh, Congo Peace Activists of Michigan, the U.S. Department of Peace campaign trying to get a United States Department of Peace at the cabinet level. That would be amazing. We've um, been pushing for that for over a decade. We have the Citizens for Peace, like I mentioned before, the Interfaith Council for Peace and Justice, and some other uh, fantastic groups that are going to be coming out to share their time with us, the Peace Education Center in Lansing. So we hope that you can make it out. We're so blessed to continue to do this. And the reason I'm holding this t-shirt is because um, it's the main t-shirt for the event and has been since, since day one. It says, one race, human. One race, human. And last year, if you were there or not there or didn't know about it, but last year, Mr. Peace got pooched. I got bit by a Rottweiler dog about an hour and a half into the event. You can kind of see the hole there. I'm not sure if you can or not, but uh, it was a rather large hole. And basically, I was going to introduce the next artist, was running up to the stage, and this dog came and bit me on my side. So needless to say, I tried to duct tape it. I tried to stay as long as I could because I put six months of my life into this one day, and I wanted to see it through to completion. But I needed medical attention, so I had to go to ER. And I left. I was in tears, but I left it in great hands, and it was still a great success the whole day. But what I realized is that through all these things that we do, you know, whether we're taking a test or trying to be a friend to somebody, you know, trying to love somebody, uh, knowing that we can love and only God can change, but or trying to hold this big event, that as long as we put forth the effort. As long as we have the effort, God has the outcome. You give it your best, you do all you can, and He has the outcome. And I think about all these people that when I ask them, you know, what's the opposite of success, right? What What's the opposite of success? And nine times out of ten, people say it's failure. It's failing. But that's not the opposite of success. The opposite of success is quitting. It's you giving up. And if you don't give up, if you just show up and you know give it your best and can go to bed at night with this conviction in your heart that you can look yourself in the mirror and say I gave it my all and I did it for you know for, for his glory then then you can sleep okay so again as long as I have the effort then he has the outcome and it was still a success and it'll always be a success as long as I'm giving it my all and that's why I lose sleep that's why you know this is so such a big passion on my heart because diversity has impacted my life so much. I would not be the person I am today without all the amazing races and religions and um, political affiliations and just people from every culture that I've met and absorbed all that wealth of knowledge, right? Because Mark Twain always said, I never let my schooling interfere with my true education. I never let my schooling interfere with my true education. And I'm such a advocate of that because this whole other wealth of knowledge outside of the books, outside of the academics is out there, but we got to be willing to get out of our comfort zone and experience that. And so this peace day is just one day. It's not a cure-all. It's not a panacea for all of our integration issues, but it's one day that people can just come together. You know, there's, there's no hidden agenda. It's just a way to promote greater connection between the human race, right? This one race that we really are, that we truly are, and that's human. So again, I hope you can make it out there. Visit us, facebook.com, promoting Ethnic and Cultural Equality Day. Contact me, Kevin Zawal and Mr. Peace, if you want to get involved. We always need volunteers to promote the event, to help on the day of. There's so much setup and logistic work that has to happen to make it a success. And please tell your friends about it. Go up on the F book, wherever you need to, tweet it, Twitter, YouTube, and get people there to Peace Day to really experience this event. You, are, you, the people, are the ones that make it special. So hope to see everyone there Sunday, September 23rd. It's going to be great weather because peace attracts great weather. We've never had rain, and we won't this year. And it's going to be from noon to 4, out on the Diag. Great events. Much love. Peace.